Hello friends, welcome to A2C Dentistry. This video focuses on important MCQs related to dentin bonding agents. Dentin bonding agents usually contains hydrophilic component, hydrophobic component, both of the above, none of the above. Both of the above. Dentin bonding agents contain both hydrophilic and hydrophobic component and the hydrophobic end bond with composite resin. Which generation dendin bonding agent shows highest bond strength? 3rd generation, 4th generation, 5th generation, 6th generation. 4th generation. 4th generation dendin bonding agent shows highest bond strength and it's about 17 to 30 MBA. Which of the following dendin bonding agent is known as self etching primer? 3rd generation, 4th generation, 5th generation, 6th generation. 6th generation. In 6th generation dendin bonding agents, H and primer in one bottle and adhesive agent in another bottle. It is known as self etching primers. Which of the following contains primer and bonding agent in a single bottle and is known as single component system? 3rd generation, 4th generation, 5th generation, 6th generation. 5th generation Which of the following individual component in self edge adhesive system act as desensitizing agent? Glutaraldehyde, Formata, Hema, Acetone Glutaraldehyde, it act as desensitizing agent. Watertree phenomenon is seen in which generation dendin bonding agent? 3rd generation, 4th generation, 5th generation, 7th generation. 7th generation. Water tree phenomenon shown by 7th generation dendin bonding agents. A dendin primer is etches the enamel, removes the smear layer, increases the surface energy, conditions the dendin. Increase the surface energy. Type 1 enamel itching pattern is there is peripheral dissolution of enamel rods. Center of enamel rods is dissolved with periphery intact. It is a combination of the above two patterns involves dendin and enamel. Center of enamel rods is dissolved with periphery intact. There is three types of enamelist pattern. In type 1, center of enamel rods is dissolved with periphery intact. In type 2, there is peripheral dissolution of enamel rods. Type 3 is a combination of above two patterns. Okay, it's all about the topic dentin bonding agents. See you with a new video. Thank you.